Roast this last weekend. My kids absolutely loved it. 970-330-8400. Well, inside the studio with me is our first candidate of the season, Jeffrey Hare, running for the state legislature. And, Jeff, thanks for being with us. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Sure. This is... uh, you know, this is a, an election that I, I have uh, already said I, I'm nervous that the down ballot is going to suffer because of the presidential race. But Colorado, I think we have a bit of an opportunity compared to the rest of the nation because we only have one statewide race beyond president. You know, we, we, we just have a CU regent, which is one that doesn't draw a lot of publicity, which I think is going to help for people who are, uh, you know, pounding the pavement, such as yourself, in a district for, for House or for, for State Senate. So tell me, you know, tell me a little bit about the district, what it is that you're hearing from folks. Well, let, let's start. What made you want to run? Well, I'm, I'm an average citizen that's been out there kind of observing politics for the last, uh, you know, 10, 15 years and kind of frustrated with the uh, the status quo, frustrated with um, the traditional crony capitalism, um, people being office, being something other than what they promised to be, those type of things. Makes sense. Makes sense. This district, you know, we've had our... Yeah, explain the district, so because you know not everybody who's listening to us is going to be able to vote for you. So, sort of explain the district, the boundaries, so that uh, people with the new districts might understand uh, where it is that what, maybe they are going to be one of your constituents. They didn't even know it. Yeah, absolutely. And forty eight ch- district forty eight changed quite a bit um, from the prior to the redistricting. So forty eight is basically West Greeley, um, Severance, Eaton, Alt, Pierce, LaSalle, um, Johnstown, Milliken, Platteville, and Gilcrest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's chunk. it, yeah chunks of every one of those yep. communities. Yeah, so uh, when it comes to being out and about in the community, what is it that you're hearing that are that are the big uh, the, the big issues that are concerning people in the district? Well, overwhelmingly, this the national issues become the state issues. It's jobs and the economy for most people. Um, it's it's uh, it's personal um, personal responsibility. It's liberty and those type of issues. So, I mean, jobs and the economy, I think, are the biggest two issues that we hear feedback from the from the constituents on. Your your platform then brings what to the table to address those big issues? Well, I'm a CPA by trade. I'm a small business owner. Um, I've managed as a CPA a $150 million organization as a chief financial officer and a billion-dollar-plus organization as a divisional controller. So I know numbers well. Um, I know what budgeting. I know what tough, tough spending decisions and choices you've got to make, and I think that's what I can best do at the, the state house. What does the state do to – basically help with those issues. I mean, when you were talking jobs in the economy, obviously you're talking state economy because in our state legislature, we can't really affect what is done at the national level. What What's the state's role there? And what can the state do to alleviate those problems that we just discussed? Well, I'm a limited government guy. I okay. think the government needs to stay out of the way of, of job creation. Government doesn't create jobs. Government either creates uh, the environment for jobs to be created or disincentives for the jobs to be created. So it's tax policy, it's spending, it's making the right spending choices. It's energy is a big issue, high energy costs in, in the state of Colorado for both uh, families and, and businesses. So it's, it's, it's back to creating the right environment for, for jobs to, to be created. I like that. I like that. It is, that goes for an open environment, I'm assuming, for drilling, especially since these are well county communities you're talking about that have been restricted in their access to right. some drilling. Uh, of course, it could be worse. It could be West Slope folks that have been planning on that BLM land for all that yeah. time, right? Exactly. And now we're not going to be able to drill it, right? Uh, as far as uh, some of the big issues that we, we hear on the show constantly are uh, – Taxation, as refers to state services, such as uh, emissions, you know, the emissions bill was right. big for us, yep. faster the le- that legislation and freezing property taxes, uh, that's, that's the sort of thing you would fight or support. Um, anything that would reduce or eliminate uh, regulations, you know, I mean, 1103 is a good example. You mentioned that. The, the emissions, emissions bill, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, that's definitely something we supported. We've already come out with a press release on that. Um, putting a little pressure on our friend in District 50 to, to turn to turn around his decision and, mm. and support that bill as well. So those type of things, absolutely. You've also been on the radio already in support of NDAA uh, activities that relate to our friend Scooter McGee, who's behind the glass now. Just uh, just stepped in, hey there, Scooter, uh, and been on his show and, and chatting about that. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Well, I think uh, personal liberty is very important to the people of Weld County. I mean, they, they see that the NDAA thing is a is a is a challenge to their. You know, Fifth Amendment, Sixth, sixth Amendment, um, you know, the basic constitutional rights. And so we're, we've, uh, we kind of followed Scooter's lead on this. He took the lead, and we went into to the county commissioner's uh, working session, and, or I did, I should say, not we. <laughs> and, um, and I think it's a, an important issue for us as, a, as, as citizens of Weld County. I mean, people don't like their Second Amendment rights imposed on, don't like their, you know, their liberty, um, you know, uh, taken over, I guess. Right, so, impinged upon, impinged upon perhaps, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So we're... We're as a campaign actually going to be very aggressive on this. We're encouraging 
um, cities. As a matter of fact, I'm going to LaSalle Town Meeting after this. I'm going to encourage them to pass something. We're going to be very um, uh, educational in, in cities and other counties in the state trying to get them to adopt some of our resolutions because we think it's a very important, important issue. Yeah, big uh, big doings here in Colorado. This is go around. It's, it, I know that everybody talks about how 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 you know imperative the national races are, but here in the state, we kind of are at a little bit of a crossroads. You know, if we have strong leadership inside the legislature, not just the lower house, but also in the Senate too, uh, a lot of things could change. Certainly for the better if if, if the leadership is there. So where is uh, where is it that people can go to learn more about uh, the campaign? Certainly, you got a website, you've got a Facebook page. I'm assuming. Absolutely. Um, what the website is hereforhouse.com, H-A-R-E-F-O-R, house.com. Um, the bottom of the website is, our, is a link to our Facebook page, and we have a very active feed in there. I'm posting on a regular basis. And Great. If people want to get a feel for you know the type of things that, that I believe and that the, the things I'll fight for in the state legislature, it's, it's be great to look at the Facebook uh, the, the feeds. And let's go. Let's do the the basic boundaries of the of the the district again because I, I can't stress this enough. People, if you, if you're getting comfortable with where you were in the last ten years, these are new districts now. So let, let let's go the boundaries again. Absolutely. Uh, so it's West Greeley. And it goes uh, Johnstown, Milliken, LaSalle, Gilcrest, Platteville to the south and to the north. It goes Severance, Eaton, Alton, Pierce. So, so this is the guy that is running for your district, folks. So uh, make sure that you're checking out the candidates running for your offices. Hereforhouse.com, H-A-R-E-F-O-R, H-O-U-S-E dot com. Uh, also the Facebook page, the link is there. And you got a number? Um, sure, 970-785-6455 is my office number. Thanks so much, Jeffrey. Appreciate you coming in, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you on the campaign trail. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. You betcha. We'll take a breather. When we come back, wrap things up for the day here on the Luke Shields program, our number 877-353-1310. Don't forget, you want new wiper blades. Phil's Pro Auto Service wants to give them to you. It'll be a nice little trade. You get yourself a uh, headlight restoration done. They're going to give you the wipers free of charge and installed. So check them out, philsproautoservice.com on the web. Or just check them out in their location right there at the corner or at the intersection of Highway 30.